Hey guys, it's PC Helper here and today I'll be showing you how you can boost up your PC's gaming performance in 8 quick steps. So follow all the 8 steps and you will definitely observe a gaming performance boost in your PC. So let's get started. So step 1 is deleting temporary files. It is a quick one, so just search run, type percentage sign temp temp and again percentage sign and press enter. Select all the files here and permanently delete them. Don't worry before deleting them because these all are junk files. Now again go to one. This time only type tmp10 and delete all the files present here also if any. I recently deleted all my temporary files so there are no files in this folder. So that's it for step number one. In step two we will be disabling services that are running in the background so all the unnecessary services can be Disable by searching services here, press enter. After that, first of all search for super fetch. Uh, in S, search for super fetch. Here it is. Right click on it and go to its properties. And here, disable and apply. We have to do the same with all the Xbox Live services, including XSA, uh, SSA Management Service, Live Auth, Auth Manager, Game Safe, and Networking Service. Game monitoring cannot be changed, and even if you try disabling it, the system will not allow. So just change these four settings to disable, these four services to disable, and last is Type D. And go to DMW app USH SVC and go to its properties and also disable it the same way. Okay, so that's it for the second step. Now let's come to third step. And this step will be changing some of our PC's configuration. So this is an important one. Search run here type MS config MS and FIG and press enter. Here under boot, go to advanced options. In advanced options, select number of processor and set it to maximum number. In me it is 8, for some it might be 6 and for some it might be 4. So I'm selecting 8. And then select no GUI boot. By default it is not it is not tech. So select no GUI boot and change time of seconds to 3. By default it is 30, I'm changing it to 3. So these are the second case, uh, settings that I prefer. Now go to services and in services First select hide all Microsoft services so you don't disable any of the Microsoft service. Now disable all the services which are of no need to you. My PC is new so I don't have many services available here so I'll just disable RZKL service which is, which is of no use to me. Now I'll apply these settings and click OK. Uh, one thing to remember these settings will only take effect after you restart your PC. So first restart your PC. Right now I'm exiting without restart. So that's it for the third step. Step number four. In this step, we will be changing Windows settings. This step is not much important, but we'll be doing it also. So once you go to Windows settings, go to privacy. Here in general, disable everything. Well, this part is important. So disable everything. Here, I have already disabled everything here. Now go to diagnostic and feedback. Here also select basic and Turn off everything here also. And here in location, in location also turn location service off. And the most important is background apps. Here don't allow the apps to run in background. By default it's set like this, but uh, disable the setting. So don't allow any app to run in background. So all of your PCs RAM will be focused on your game. So that's it for the fourth step. In the fifth step, we will be updating our GPU drivers. This is a very important step, but some people don't take it too seriously. But it is very important to keep our drivers up to date to run games with good performance. So if you're an AMD user, go to AMD's official website and download the AMD driver AutoTech tool. And once you download it, it will automatically detect your AMD driver. And if 
been updated. And if you're an NVIDIA user, go to geforce.com slash drivers and here automatic driver updates, download this tool and this tool will also do the same, it will automatically detect your NVIDIA driver and update it. So once you update your GP driver, you will surely experience a boost in your gaming performance. So that's it for the fifth step. In the sixth step, we'll be changing the visual settings of our PC. So here, search this PC, right click on it and go to its properties. And here, go to advanced system settings. Now under performance, go to settings and here adjust for best performance. Uh, adjust for best performance. So it is disable everything, all the visualization and animation that make your PC look good. But if you adjust for best performance, it disables everything and really boosts up your PC. But just select smooth edges and uh, show save taskbar thumbnail to videos and show thumbnail instead of icons and apply these settings ok so that's it for 5th step sorry for the 6th step so that's it for our 6th step now the 7th step and this step will be cleaning our disk and optimizing it so go to your file explorer right click on your C drive and go to its properties in properties under general click on disk cleanup disk cleanup select download program files temporary internet files system created windows array reporting thumbnails temporary files and recycle them. And click on ok and delete these files these all are junk files so don't worry before deleting them so they are deleted now go to tools the option where in error checking right now my PC has no error but you can do this to improve your PC's performance so just click on check here and this will check for any error in your PC now after you check your PC for system errors go to optimize and defragment drive and here select your C drive and click on optimize I'm not optimizing it right now because it take much time so just go here and optimize your C drive. Once it, it's done, restart your PC. So that's it for the seventh step, now the last step. And this step will be downloading a game booster. And this is the most important step. If you perform this step, then you will surely experience a better game experience on your PC. So just go to your web browser and search Razer Cortex Game Booster. This is a game booster I recommend. So go to this first link and download it from here by clicking on download now I've already downloaded it so once you download it go to Razer Cortex I've separately made a video for the advanced setup of Razer Cortex Game Booster so just watch it and then you will know how you can set up Razer Cortex Game Booster the link of that video will be in this, the description of this video but for right now I can show you once you download Razer Cortex Game Booster you have to sign in you have to make an login you have to make an ID on it and once you log in then you can add your games from your PC by browsing them. Once you add them, for example if I run NV2 KD, I'll start game to Razer Cortex, it will release my PC RAM, it will release 859 MB of RAM and it will run my game. So right now I'll this task that is nb 2 k 18 so that's how Razer Cortex Game Booster works please do check my video on Razer Cortex advanced setup and that's it for the last step so once you perform all the 8 steps I'm sure the gaming performance of your PC will be boosted so that's it for this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button below and do share it also, don't forget to subscribe to PC Helper for regular updates. Thank you and have a nice day.